Hello, YouTube. This is Robotnik again. And uh, this is an underused match I had with, um, I can't remember who. I think it was, yeah, this was like Pokemon Wi-Fi Battles, the Facebook group, and this was done at like 5 in the morning. And uh, I picked the wrong lead. I knew he was going to lead with Flygon, because Flygon lead is pretty obvious. He didn't have any other gimmicky lead Pokemon, and I could have led with Don Fan and gotten Ice Shard off, or scared him out with Ice Shard. But instead, my air balloon pops for no reason, but he doesn't have any ground types, so it's kind of not a bit, not a bit, a bit. It's not a big deal. I sent out Don Fan, because I want to see if he has Thunder Wave, um, but he uh, has Toxic instead. And by the way, sorry for the added glare in this one. I actually recorded this one upstairs, out of a basement environment, so there is a lot of sun going on, a lot of windows. Um, yeah, and also low production value, so, uh, yeah, uh, sucks for you guys, I guess. Uh, Taunt on the Switch, which is good, or did I do that on the Switch? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I did. I taunt him anyway, so, um, because I know that the worst you can do is burn in a skull. Luckily, he does not get the burn off, and, um, I'm afraid of the burn, so I switch out and go into... Uh, my Water Sweeper, which is Napoleon, and he goes into Flygon, and, uh, yeah, it's a double switch, so I don't get the, I don't get to agility on any switches, uh, so I don't want, I don't want Napoleon to die, um, with an Earthquake, so I go into Pinkie Pie knowing that if he does use U-Turn, it'll do pretty much nothing. Uh, goes into Alakazam, who I kind of fear. I know he... I, th I think he's an RU Pokemon, um, just because Psychics have an innate weakness to, um, a lot of really overpowered Pokemon in this generation. And, uh, I do like to use, uh, my Choice Band Psychic Trapping Spiritum a lot, but I didn't use him in this match. Um... But uh, I'm kind of wishing I did, but he does have Shadow Ball, so Spiritomb would have gotten hit with that, but, you know, whatever. Transform into his guys. I'm scouting to see if he has Focus Blast, and he does not, and that is a big deal. That is a really good, uh, really good for me, and it's a big deal because I have a lot of people who are weak to fighting on this underused team. Uh, most notably, Cobalion, um, I think that's his name the bright blue reindeer thing who's kind of ugly. Um, so now that I know his only two attacking moves are Shadow Ball and Psychic, I can basically sweep him with, uh, with uh, Rudolph. Um, predict the extreme speed because it's, uh, you know, it's Entei. What is he going to do? Um, take out Entry. No, Entei. No problems whatsoever. So that's pretty amazing. Um, Substitute on Chansey, can't really do much um, to anybody behind a substitute, and I am immune to Seismic Toss, so this Chansey is kind of in a pickle, and that is really great for me. I usually uh, absolutely detest Chanseys and underused, but um, especially in 3-on-3 three three, uh, three three singles, they're like way too good with Evilite, but on 6-on-6 six six singles, you can kind of work around it. Um... Uh, get to boost up with Nasty Plot, and I believe, thanks to the minimal Stealth Rock damage, it is going to take it out in one shot. I, I'm really certain that without Stealth Rock damage, he would have lived with a little bit and been able to break my sub. But, uh, thankfully, um, because I'm actually using rocks, I usually don't use rocks. But now that I'm playing around with Mew, I'm, like, throwing rocks everywhere. Um, but thankfully I do have rocks, so, um, yeah. Uh, I can one-hit KO people more often. Um, I d double subs... Bleh, I double substituted in case he U-turned me, but he goes for Outrage, which means he cannot switch out until he's finished, and he just finished, but he decides to stay in for some reason. Um, not really the best idea, I think, because Flygon is pretty... pretty beast. Um, I know he carries Shadow Ball because I transformed into him, so I want to save my ghost for later. And uh, go into Cabalion, who, um, his special defense is kind of 
less good. Um, but he takes that pretty well because that's life orbed, and um, this is probably a timid Alakazam. I actually uh, don't really know because when you use transform and you look at the status screen, you don't get to see their stats. You just see Muse stats, which is kind of, you know, I guess it's all right. I get to scout his moves. Um, yeah, but this is my Kalmine Cabellion, who was actually in the previous video, does really, really well. Um, with Calm Mind and Life Orb together, he can take out a lot of people. Unfortunately, I do get a critical hit, um, which could have mattered. He probably was going to use Thunder Wave on me, which would have really, really sucked. Because, um, you know... This guy actually, this is a timid max speed guy, and his speed is enormous. I think it's got 108 speed base, which is uh, really, really uh, lightning fast and underused. That's like obscenely fast. Like this guy outspeeds um, a Smagius, who's intimidated maxed out speed as well. And that's pretty much the game, guys. So yeah, kind of a short game, but uh, yeah, uh, see you later.